The Philippines' educational system is often mistreated by numerous groups, often called for having a failed governance, affordability issues, a lack of properly educated and motivated teaching staff members, and the most famous term coined is the brain drain. These have then placed the entire educational system of the nation in the spotlight. Is it, however, really a failed system, or are we just looking at it too negatively? Well, we must first take a look at the educational system on a macro level. First of all, the educational system is in fact the sector that actually receives the most national budget in the country. 2021, 4.5 trillion peso national government budget gave the Department of Education over 751 billion pesos, which is the highest, far more than the Department of Public Works and Highways and the Department of Health. This should then tell us that the government does indeed place a strong emphasis on the overall academic system of the country. Second, with relation to the budget itself, it has enabled over 3 million individuals to be enrolled in the higher education space every year. This then pushes us to believe that the Philippines was successful in ensuring proper infrastructure is in place to help 3 million people to have access to higher education. Finally, the Philippines enjoys a high literacy rate among its population, 96.5% for basic and 91.6% for functional. These data presented thus far should in some ways tell us already that the population of the Philippines has so far enjoyed a good education. That is, until we actually dive deeper into the data itself. While there are 3 million individual enrollees every year, there are in fact only between 600 to 700,000 people to successfully graduate at the same time. This means that there's a huge difference when it comes to a person enrolling for higher education and actually finishing it. How did it come to this? While several studies have found that it's more likely related to financial troubles, a lack of proper infrastructure is for students to properly learn and excel, or just proper support for them to stay on track. Further, a report published by the World Bank has also found that 80% of children found that they do not know what they should learn in school. The report has even shown that only between 10 to 22% of students between selected grades have shown minimum proficiency. These data provided by the World Bank and other institutions can then tell us a pertaining issue. How is the Philippines spending so much money but not seeing strong results? Well, to be fair, this can be because, just maybe, even after spending more than 750 billion pesos, it might have been not enough. After all, we're looking to educate millions of people every year. This means that the government has to spend money to construct schools, pay some teachers and staff depending on whether it's private or public, and ensure that the schools built are up to date with the ever rapidly increasing change in world education, and so much more. While more factors vary, we just don't have enough to pay for a better education system. Should the government, however, decide to enlarge its budget further might be an issue. After all, it's already the largest sector, but placing too much will harm other departments. Anyway, what do you think?